On March 10th, 2023, Charisma held an exclusive interview with Prophet Amanda Grace. We are highlighting this prophetic word because we are actively seeing these events unfold right before our eyes. This was recorded before the October 7th Hamas massacre from Gaza, the Israeli invasion of Lebanon, Iran's missile barrage on Israel, and now, most recently, China reacting to the Iran-Israel turmoil. Listen closely to what Prophet Amanda prophetically shared months before the first event happened, and keep your eyes open to learn what to expect for the very near future. I'm gonna go back to a prophecy that was given April 2nd, 2021. So this also is almost two years old, this word from the Lord. And this is the excerpt. And says the spirit of the Lord this day, an Ayatollah, that's Iran, and a dragon, that's China, have merged in agreement with the purse prize being the destruction of Israel. Two countries who are set to be threshed have merged in an attempt to harm my firstborn Israel. Two countries who serve a principality and whom they govern, now the time has come for them to be threshed. Doing the bidding of these bloodthirsty vain entities who have now reluctantly come into agreement to influence the men who are so their slaves and servants, to change their focus to Israel first and its brother America, the eagle, second. And said the spirit of the Lord this day, the agreements that have been made are as dust in my sight. They are fallible, meaningless contracts. Murder for hire. What is laid hidden in the dark shall be brought out into the light and be placed at the threshing floor. And I, the Lord, shall smack down on both nations and beat and press what is laid hidden in the dark out into the light. Recently in the news, it was a big story. I saw, and I saw it on TV even, because I rarely look at the news unless it has to do with a prophecy fulfilled. And I do that purposely so it doesn't, you know, interrupt or influence or taint what the Lord is trying to tell me. So I see the image, though. There is the leader of China, and there is the leader of the Ayatollah of Iran with all their flags behind them, shaking hands in this very big meeting that they had. So now this is being solidified two years later, this relationship, which I find the timing interesting in the middle of the war with Russia and Ukraine, that this is the time that China and Iran choose to do this. Now, I think they choose to do this now because they sense weakness on the part of both those nations because there's a war. They sense weakness on the part of the United States of America because when demons sense weakness, because these are these are territorial spirits we're dealing with over these areas, like the Prince of Persia in the book of Daniel that withstood Gabriel 21 days and Michael had to come in and move him out of the way. And so you're dealing with these territorial spirits right now with these two nations that sense weakness. And if we don't think for a second when they sense weakness, they're gonna try to advance, they are. We are supposed to be a friend and a brother to Israel. America was raised up to be a friend and a brother to Israel. And when we see this happening, it is beginning to back Israel into into a corner where they're going to have to do something on a major scale. This is why the Lord has brought Benjamin Netanyahu back for this time. This is why, because he is the ox that is going to be yoked by God to be used. And I just gave this in a word I delivered at Church International that then not only used to deal with Iran, but to plow the fields in America, which I found that to be a very interesting statement that the Lord made. And so when we see this, when we see China and Iran merging, their goal is domination. Domination over the United States of America, domination over Israel. You have China right now infiltrating the U.S., trying to buy up all the farmland in the United States of America. This is no accident that this is going on. So the problem with the merge, though, is that Israel now is going to have to do something. And they're going to have to do it whether they have the backing of the world or not. The U.S. and Israel's relationship has to heal. Right now, it is it, it is fractured and it has to heal. And I believe the Lord is going to heal that relationship. He is over the next couple of years uh, going to begin to heal that relationship. But Israel is going to have to launch a large scale attack because China is going to feed Iran what it needs to get a hold of weaponry and other things that it has no business having. It's interesting because it talks about in the end days about an enormous army marching on Israel. If we call it the War of Ezekiel. And so we see this enormous army and China is part of this. 
Iran is part of these countries are so the fact that these countries are, are beginning to come together and we see these pieces moving around on the chessboard is by no accident. It's just what the enemy is doing is he's trying to get ahead of the schedule of God to force events. So he's trying to prematurely do some of this stuff when it's not yet at that particular time. And so we see this happening and we see these pieces moving. And this is part of the army that marches on Israel where they cry out to God and he himself without anybody else delivers them. And I believe fire starts raining down from heaven, which is interesting because that was the same judgment of Sodom and Gomorrah. But there's also a massive earthquake that will happen. So the Lord mm -hmm. begins to launch a huge scale attack on this army where I believe only about a seventh of them are left alive. And this is an army of millions and millions and millions of soldiers. I always warn to not get into an escapist mentality because we're supposed to occupy until the return. Occupy is a military term. You know, that means we're supposed to be influencing every area of the nation and occupy as soldiers of the living God till his return. And so I think you have some thinking God's coming back tomorrow, which is so funny. because <laughs> If you look at you look at over time, so many times when things happened, right? Mm -hmm. um, yeah. and, and things happened in Europe, you know, the, the, those dark ages and things. People thought Jesus was coming back then. Peter mm -hmm. thought Jesus was coming back. <laughs> After Pentecost. So we see this over and over again where things happen in history. World War II, Jesus is coming back now. Oh, yeah. you know? <laughs> so we see this over and over again in history. Uh, and so we are to know the times and seasons. The sons of Issachar knew the times and seasons. That was their gift. So we are supposed to know that and mm -hmm. watch for it and know that it's getting closer as mm -hmm. these things occur. Uh, and so we're just supposed to be aware of that, but we are to continue our call of the Lord until that last trump happens. We are to continue it. The word of God says a few things about this. He first says, I will bless those who bless you and I will curse those who curse you. So, you know, bless Israel, um, pray for the peace of Israel. That's something very biblical. Play, pray for the peace of Israel. Pray for wisdom for Netanyahu that he not only gets saved, because I believe he's going to, I believe he's going to come to know Yeshua, but mm -hmm. pray for wisdom right now with what he has been given by the Lord. He has been given something very heavy um, and, and, and just very um, difficult in a way. And he's been given a difficult task in this time and season by the mm -hmm. Lord. So just pray for that. Um, and just pray for the covering of Israel, that the enemies that are surrounding it, because Israel's in the middle of a hornet's nest. There's no doubt about mm -hmm. this, that the enemies surrounding it, that the Lord puts a hedge of protection around them and thwarts the plans of the enemy against it. I know Israel probably will not attack China, um, but I do believe you are going to see and you should watch for the largest attack in Iran to ever happen in this season. So I would watch for that uh, and what's going to happen with that. So it, because China is supplying Iran. And so you may also see something coming where um, channels where China is supplying things are suddenly cut off, mm. suddenly attacked and come off, cut off. So I would watch for those things um, in this time and season because that's what it's coming to.